another video here with angel b designs i'm angel b thank you so much for watching if you are new here welcome if you're not welcome back um for those of you that saw my live earlier this week um i did do this image here it's the peace love fight image and the method that i used was the kind of like the the play on the they not like us trend that's going around but i i did it with vinyl okay um, some of you were saying that you were having, having a hard time figuring out how to do it in Cricut Design Space because I did it in Silhouette Studio. So in this video, you guys, I'm going to be showing you how to take this same exact method and do it in Cricut Design Space. So I did a Detroit Tigers kind of theme here. Let me turn that off so you can see. I did a Detroit Tigers kind of theme here with it. And then I used some of the Caesar Glitter Vinyl. Um, I have a black one here and then I also did it on a blue one. <clears throat> okay so i'm gonna be showing you from scratch start to finish how to set up this image and create it inside of cricut design space and then we're gonna go ahead and layer and press it together um this is what we're doing today guys so definitely go ahead and stick around for that hey guys so we are starting off in cricut design space here i do want to show you how to make this image um now earlier this week i don't know if you guys saw it or whenever you're seeing this but before prior to this video i did a live where i did um this method in uh silhouette studio and i do know a lot of people do still use cricut design space so with that being said i decided to go ahead and um, let me turn on my ring light. I decided to go ahead and do this in Cricut Design Space so that um, you guys will be able to do this, the same method that I did with the breast cancer awareness, the peace, love, and fight. Um, you can do it in Cricut Design Space as well. Okay, so I'm gonna, this is the image that we're going to do, and I'm going to start from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and hide all of these pieces here. Um, I'm going to start off with my image. This is the Detroit D, which is for um, the city of Detroit and the Detroit Tigers. Um, so I'm going to start off with this. It is a SVG. And then the next thing I'm going to do is um, get my text. The text that I'm using or the font is called MLB Astros. I want to I may have gotten it from Creative Fabrica, but I'm not for sure. Um, but it is a MLB Astros font, which is a uh, it's a uh, baseball league font. Now I would try to see if the Detroit Tigers um, had a font on there, but they don't, so I'm just going to use this one. Um, so I'm going to type in the word Tigers in all caps, and I'm going to type it three times in the same text box okay now the space in between these words i don't want that there so i'm going to make sure that it's selected and up here where it says line space we're going to go ahead and just decrease that spacing until it's not necessarily touching but almost touching okay now i'm going to take the word tigers and I'm going to just kind of space it onto the D the way I want. Now, you can do it all the way on it. You can do halfway. This is your preference. Um, I definitely go, go ahead and play around with it just to see, you know, what you like. I'm going to do it about halfway. So about here. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is select both. And then I'm going to go ahead and slice that. Okay. So now I'm going to actually, let me go back. I forgot to duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate this D because I do need to have that, another copy of that. Now I'm going to go ahead and slice. <clears throat> okay. So now I can go ahead and remove the letter D. Okay, we have the top part. We're going to go ahead and delete that. We're going to keep this blue color. 
This came, this blue color came from the letter D. It was the slice result from the letter D. We're going to keep this one and we deleted the gray one that came from the word, the words tigers. Okay. So now these are the two slice results here. And this is what we want. I'm going to turn the gray one orange just so that we can kind of see it better. Now what I'm going to do is bring that first original D that I had back over and we're going to line it up. And then I'm going to get a, um, a box. So under shapes here, I'm going to get a square. And I'm going to place this just over the letters just covering the D, the blue D, as well as the letters. Okay, and with the square selected, I'm gonna hold down the shift key and then I'm going to select the, the letter D, the image. So you might have a tiger, a lion, whatever your image is. You wanna hold down the shift key and select your image. And then I'm going to slice that as well. Now we have the box, we can delete that. We have the gray part from the box, we can delete that as well. And then we have the blue part that was from the square, we're gonna delete that as well. Okay, and that is it. So you can stop here, but of course I love a good outline, okay? I love me a good little outline. Now I kind of made my box just a little off. So as you can see, there's more space up here above these letters than it is down here. Um, I'm going to just undo just to kind of make it, try to make it even. I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to hold shift, select the image, and then slice. Okay, that looks better. So now there's an equal space between the letters in the D and then the letters in the D down here, okay? So that looks really good. I really like this. Again, you can stop here. Um, but if you wanna add an outline, I'm gonna show you how to do that now. I'm just going to select everything, all three pieces. So now there's three pieces. We have the the D, we have the, the rest of the blue letters in tigers, which are supposed to go with the letter D. And then we have the orange letters in the rest of the word tigers. Okay, well, I'm gonna select all three of those la layers. I'm gonna go up to offset and I'm gonna do 0 0.15. So it's not too, too big, but it's not too small either. And then I'm gonna select apply. Okay, there's my offset. Now what I need to do is I do need to slice because I want the offset, I want it to be knocked out, okay? And because we have three different layers, we're gonna have to do this three times. So I'm gonna hold the, I'm gonna select the offset, which is right here, the offset and the basic cut. I'm going to select that, hold down the shift key and select my first layer, which is the tigers in the blue letters, the blue letter, G's, the tigers, and then we're going to slice. I'm going to bring the offset back down to the bottom, and then I'm going to select the, the slice result, which is going to be our back outline there. Hold the shift key, select the yellow letters. We're going to slice again. I'm going to take the offset back down to the bottom so that it's behind. It's in the back. And then I have one more, which is this one right here, the blue D. Hold the shift key and select the slice result, which is now the back part of the offset. And I'm going to slice that one more time. Okay. And now we have... This is our offset results here. 
So if we move the D out the way, we can go ahead and delete that. We can delete that. And we can delete that. And then we have some contour pieces here. We can go ahead and delete those. Now, with this, you may have a few little strays. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see here. If you want to get rid of those, I believe we can go to the contour and just select those. Oh, no, we can't select them. So those lines are going to be the pieces where there's going to be like blue here, orange here, blue here, orange here. Okay. Uh oh, there we go. Okay. And you guys, that is it. That's it. So now I'm going to do this in glitter. So let me bring back the other one so we can see it. There's our original, the original one and the one I just did. It looks pretty close. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to go over to make it and I am going to cut on the glitter iron one setting and um, I'm going to go ahead, get everything cut out. And All right, guys, so I do have everything cut out. Um. Okay, so I was originally going to do a white shirt, but I cut my outline in white instead of black. And so now I think I'm just going to put this on a black shirt instead so that we can see the outline better. Let me grab a black shirt. Okay, so I have a Make Market um, a black Make Market hoodie here. I'm just going to use this because, like I said, I cut my outline out in white instead of black. So the first thing I'm going to do, you should pre-press and lint roll. I'm not going to worry about it because this is for me. But if you are selling these, you should you should do a pre-press and you should lint roll prior to doing it. But this is going to be my first layer. Before I press everything, just to make sure all my layers cut out correctly, I do kind of like to piece them together just to make sure. Because you know sometimes when you're weeding, you might weed out an extra piece by accident. Or maybe you're missing a piece somehow, some way. I just kind of like to line it up before I press just to make sure I didn't accidentally weed out too much or lose a piece somewhere. Okay? But that looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these pieces. And then I'm going to press... This first layer which is going to be the outline I have my heat press set to 350 350 degrees for 15 seconds um, and I'm going to press each layer at 15 seconds and then I'm going to peel to the next one I am going to do all four layers separately <clears throat> again that's just to make sure that everything lines up the way that it needs to There's the first piece. And when you are layering, if you notice that maybe your piece looks as if it's not going to fit, I would um, like stretch your shirt out. So let's say you have a piece where like the top is lining up, but maybe the bottom isn't. Stretch your shirt out or shrink it in a little bit. Um, to get that piece to fit. If you cut it the same way that you put it together on the computer, everything should fit as long as you didn't weed out any extra pieces that you were supposed to keep.
This blue tends to be a cooler peel. I don't know why it does it for me, but sometimes I think I just got a weird, you know how sometimes you just get a weird roll of vinyl. Oh, that looks so good already. Okay, now I'm gonna do the orange. Covering the exposed vinyl with a piece of parchment paper, um, nothing fancy. Same thing, 350 degrees for 15 seconds. This heat press I'm using is a Rakoma 16 by 20 auto open pull out um, heat press. It is linked in my description box. I do believe I have a coupon code for it as well. You guys, all of my materials will be linked down below as well. All the, um, the colors, the vinyl colors I'm using. And then here is our last piece here. Oh, that looks so good. And then we're gonna go ahead and cover. And the final press, 350 degrees, 15 seconds. You guys, my um, Facebook group is also linked down below. If you make this shirt or a hoodie, whatever, I'm um, using this method, post it in my Facebook group so that I can see. Again, I pressed another blue layer, so my blue tends to not want to come up on a hot peel. That's why I do that. That looks amazing. Let me turn that off. And here's the final result. You guys, this would look really, really good with puff as well, puff vinyl. Alright guys, that is all I have for this video. Hopefully I was able to help you guys out and answer some questions. I did get a comment in my previous um, live when I did the uh, breast cancer image um, saying, you know, she, somebody was having a hard time figuring out how to do it in Cricut Design Space. So, <clears throat> I hope I answered some questions today. That's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. Until next time. Bye guys.